adaptation is not the answer for climate change. Now, it, we clearly we are going to have to adapt to the impacts of climate change because the climate is already changing and it's surely going to change uh, in the future. Uh, but we're very concerned that adaptation is not going to be you know, the sole answer to this problem uh, because adaptation isn't necessarily going to be effective, it's going to be patchy and it's going to be painful for quite a few people. So in this new paper, this new assessment uh, that I have written with uh, John Barnett from the University of Melbourne, uh, we've looked in the UK and we've looked in Australia at, you know, and we're very concerned, we have various concerns about how adaptation is actually going to work. Uh, let me summarise some of them. Uh, first of all, if you try and do adaptation quickly, it becomes much more difficult and much more costly. And we know that unless we get a very strong agreement in Copenhagen, and more importantly, that emissions actually reduce, then our window to undertake adaptation is getting shorter and shorter. Second thing is, even if we have the capacity to adapt, it doesn't mean to say we will adapt. And we know around the world, like from uh, Hurricane Katrina, uh, example in New Orleans, um, for, from uh, bushfires in Australia, just because we know uh, that what we need to do doesn't mean to say we implement it in advance and that's a concern. Thirdly, some of our adaptations might not actually be sustainable and certainly in Australia the rush towards uh, desalination plants, high energy intens intensity types of adaptations, uh, even in the UK uh, some of our uh, plans for uh, flood defences and the rest of it, they may not actually be sustainable themselves in the long run so that's a concern. And fourthly, this, is actually, this whole arguments are dominated by economics and it doesn't capture the things that, that people necessarily really care about um, in terms of the natural environment, their cultural heritage and the rest of it. And those things I think are quite important and are sort of overlooked in this whole issue of adaptation. So I think the message uh, is that adaptation is going to be an important part of climate change response going into the future, an ever more important part as climate change begins to ramp up, the impacts begin to ramp up, um, but we can't take it for granted that it's going to happen easily, easily or costlessly.